Hi folks, on this week's Mushroom Minute, we are talking about why you need to inoculate all the way around the log as opposed to just the top portion. Post inoculation, you usually stack your logs as low to the ground as possible. So a lot of people think, well, why not just inoculate the top side of those logs so I don't have to reach under the logs to harvest my mushrooms? With plants, where a seed drops, a plant will grow. So from a gardener's perspective, it's natural to think that a mushroom will grow each place you put mushroom spawn. And while that can happen, that's generally not the case. Here you see an inoculation point and a mushroom emerging just to the left of that. More typically, a mushroom will find a small weakness in the bark and force its way out of that crack. And while mushrooms do try to grow upright, they can emerge from all sides of the log. Another way to think about it is that mycelium in a log is almost like a loading bar on a computer. So a task on a computer won't be completed until that loading bar is complete. Similarly, a mushroom log won't start producing mushrooms until the mycelium makes its way all the way through the log. And mycelium makes its way from the outside in. So in the case of this log, the mycelium has to work its way from the ends to the middle before this log is going to start producing mushrooms. So if you only inoculate the top half of the log, the mycelium has to go from this end all the way to this end without having other counterparts meet it halfway.